getting organized in the cloud. It is myorganized.life live, November 5th, 2018, the day before the election. Yes. Which is great because I am so sick of all those ads. I know. I want that thing Me to be too. over with. Yes. And all those signs, the people's yards. Oh my gosh, it's overload. Out. I know. It's really I annoying. don't care which side you're on. It's too much overload. It's too much. Anyway. So uh, welcome to MyOrganized.life Live. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Leanne Thompson. This is the show where we give you organizing tips, advice, and complain about all the election ads. Right. <laughs> and we, our promise to you today, we promise, uh, to, uh, <laughs> to not run an election ad during this show. We will not. No. Isn't that good? That is good. Election-free zone. Yes, for Love sure. It. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up if you like that. Um, so anyway, today we are going to talk about getting organized in the cloud. Mm-hmm. That cloud is that weird thing up there in Those the sky. Those white things? Yeah, actually, it's a cumulus clouds. No, this cumulus? is like the, the computer cloud. The computer cloud, okay. Uh, and a lot, of, you'd be surprised what is on the cloud. In fact, we spent two whole podcast mm-hmm. episodes talking about this with Darla De Morrow. Yes, we called did. Called "Getting Organized in the Cloud." Mm-hmm. And it's really uh, we, interesting. Yeah, the episode number one, which is number one ninety two. So, yeah. how do you find that? You go to smeed dot com slash podcast. Scroll, scroll down, down to number one ninety two. And you'll see the nice little that, graphic of, yeah, of the some cloud. icons. And, and then when you're done with that one, you go to number 193. Right. That's so you two. can watch both of them. Uh, lots covered there. And number 192, uh, she talks about what the cloud is. So if you, for some reason, don't know what the cloud, cloud is, is, Darla DeMuro was a salty telephone Something. operator. Yes, that's that's her words. Her words, yes. Uh, she used to work for the phone company. Uh-huh. So uh, It's kind of a cool little backstory. It is. It is it. a neat backstory. She's got some fun graphics mm-hmm. on that. But what we're going to cover today is uh, what she told us about using Evernote. Right. Do you use Evernote? Is app. Uh, I haven't. Um, I haven't either. You know, it's I, I kind of old-fashioned. I use just the Note application, Me which too. is just the, a the blank. little sticky yeah. note thing. Yeah. But what's nice about Evernote, you can do stuff like you can email uh, 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 email to there and somehow it brings it into Evernote. And, and you can I'm, add to it and yeah. it's not like Plus you have Plus all our organizer friends love Evernote. Oh my gosh, so. they're like Evernote, Evernote certified on the bottom of their yes. websites. So uh, Who knew? you could find more out about uh, the, the whole program, but uh, right now we're going to watch just a little clip of that podcast here with Darla DeMauro. Well, the big draw, of course, to cloud services is that it allows you to have all of your data or all of the data that you choose, all your important data everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to wait until you get home to view your photos. You might be able to pick them up on your phone and show somebody, or you don't have to have things that are on your phone that you can't ever get off your phone. You know, you can trade them up to the cloud, store them for a minute, move them over to your computer. Um, One of the things that I use my cloud services for, I happen to use Evernote for this one, is that um, I can I can make a I can start a shopping list for the store um, at my desk at work. And then when I'm in the Target store or wherever I am shopping, um, I don't know about you, John, but when I'm when I'm shopping, there's invariably there's five things on my list and I get into the store. I can only ever remember three of them. (laughs) What were those other two? Yes. What were those other two? I cannot remember. Well, if I wrote it on a sticky note and I didn't bring the sticky note with me or I have a shopping list at home, but I'm stopping on the way home from work. I don't have that information with yeah. me, but now with the cloud, that information is actually staying on the computer that the Evernote, the company Evernote is maintaining, and um, I can get to that note that I started, whether I started it on my phone, my computer, even somebody else's computer, as long as I can log in, I can get to it. Yeah, I bet a lot of people don't realize that they're using the cloud for things like Gmail and Hotmail and yeah. uh, even like Google Calendar. These are all cloud-based applications. Uh, you know, we might say, well, listen, I'm reading the email on my phone, and that email's on my phone, but it really isn't on your phone. It's on the cloud. So, exactly. So you talked about Evernote a little bit. Let's let's dig into Evernote a little bit more because I know professional organizers really like this uh, platform. Love it. What are some mm-hmm. of the uh, real common uses of Evernote? That I mean, the, the go-to uses of it. Right. So uh, so Evernote's a great place to put 
anything that you want to remember later. In fact, their tagline is remember everything. Their logo is a little elephant. You know, yeah. elephants are supposed to never forget. Yeah. And um, so it's Evernote's a great tool because unlike email, where th really the only thing you can do with email is you can either store it or forward it, mm -hmm. right? Right. Um, but with Evernote, you can add to a note over and over and over again. You can add different things to it. So when I'm planning a trip, I may add in, um, I may take uh, an, e an email with my um, information about the flight and forward it in, into Evernote. But then I can add into that uh, maybe a, a web address that somebody told me, a monument that I need to, to go and visit while I'm on this trip, or um, maybe... Uh, snap a picture of a page of a book that has some information about what I want to do when I get there. Or I can even put a voice memo right in that same note. And when I get to my destination or when I'm traveling, I have all of that information with me. It's not trapped somewhere in my email, and God mm -hmm. knows it's not lost in the email, right? Yeah. I can get right into Evernote. I can search for the details of my trip, and there they are. Now, is there, a, just speaking of email, is there a way, like, say you're in Microsoft Outlook, and you want to oh, this is an important email. It's got you know, maybe an address in it. How do you save mm -hmm. that to Evernote? Is there like a plug-in or something, or do you have to literally copy and paste it? Oh, that's the one of the nicest things about Evernote is I can actually just forward it right to my Evernote account. Oh. Um, it's a little bit of magic in the back end, but essentially they've given me a, a unique email address for my Evernote account. And so I can just, from my regular email, I can forward something right in there and uh, and it becomes a new note in Evernote. It's yeah. really a handy, uh, one, one of my favorite cloud services. Now, what sure. about searching? So say, okay, uh, I, I need to know where that graduation party is. Maybe you don't remember which note you put it in. Is there a global search where you could just type in graduation party and then hit search and it'll show you all the different uh, notes that it's in? Yeah. That is actually one of the strengths of Evernote is it has a very, very powerful um, internal search. And in fact, it does a search better than some computers do because it'll even search inside the content of PDFs. Okay. And if you ever know anything about uh, PDFs, usually most programs are only reading the title, okay. but they can't see inside the content. And with Evernote, it actually does what's called optical character recognition or OCR, and it'll, it'll do that very deep. Um, search for you. Okay, right. well, now... Lots you, of information Yeah, in there. and that's probably, we're probably just scratching the surface with Evernote, right? I think so. There's more well, stuff. I don't use it, so I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure we are. Maybe if you have a uh, use for Evernote uh, that you like, put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. Share it with other people. because right. uh, I'm sure there's all sorts of tricks and yeah. things that people don't know. Yeah, and, uh, including us. Yeah. Because we are not Evernote certified. Nope, I'm not. So, um, anyway, well, that's it for today. All right. Uh, we're starting another week. We're going to yes. get through tomorrow so we don't have to deal with all the election junk. Right. Wednesday, we have uh, a new podcast Who's with on? a new organizer, oh, Laura Kavinsky. that's right. Okay. So, her debut will be Wednesday, 2 nice. p.m. Central. Good. So make sure you join us for that and mm. uh, lots more. That's I won't right. go any farther They're past good Wednesday because you don't like to look that far. No, I don't. I'm already looking forward to Friday. Oh my gosh! Anyway. don't even. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll be here back. Uh, to, or we'll be back here tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific. MyOrganize.life live. Stock up on your favorite organizing products now at MyOrganize.life. This is the perfect time of year to equip your office with file folders, expanding files, project organizers, and more. And introducing our new bright white folder line that coordinates with any office decor. It's easy, shop online, and it's delivered right to your office. Stock up now on your favorites with everything you need at MyOrganize.life. That's MyOrganize.life. MyOrganize.life.